Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tact OP Destiny episode number 2. Okay, before we start, I apologize for the background noise. Uh, a festival is going on and it's literally just like, you know, like outside is full on, uh, like, you know, music are playing and everything. So I apologize for the background noise. All right. So the previous episode, uh, it was the first episode of a brand new show. It was a great uh, start. And I really love the concept of uh, music arts and the D2, you like, know, music arts fighting D2, music arts need a conductor and D2 are actually do not like music. So this whole thing and actually music is kind of like people don't play music because of that. Like as soon as they start playing music, if there's like some D2 uh, around somewhere, it'll just come crashing and like, you know, destroy your stuff, even try to kill the people, I guess. So that's why music has been completely stopped they don't try to take any chances you know like if there's no d2 around playing music won't really matter i guess but they're just i'm, I'm saying they're just they're just precautious precautious is that a word i'm not even sure <laughs> they're just uh you know like uh like taking a precaution to just like not play music in case there's any d2 around so no music, music has been completely stopped and music arts are actually um, this type of, uh, I don't know what that was, like some kind of super, you know, super power, you know, uh, what do you call them? Some kind of uh, like human beings who have this type of special power when they, like, you know, uh, like team up with a conductor, they can fight. Uh, we saw one music art who is Cosette and the main character of this show um, Duct who is a conductor and both of them are main characters uh, Cosette and Duct and Anna as well I, I think so yeah we started uh, that and there were a few information that we got but I'm not sure like there's a lot of things I'm still not sure about I'm sure they're going to explain you know little by little and yeah otherwise it was, it was a fantastic start i loved the whole concept and each and everything i love the main characters as well like you know <laughs> duct is kind of like a, <laughs> a guy who's very much like you know like loves music and cosette is just like yeah i need to destroy the d2 and anna is just like that you know like that elder sister who <laughs> like whom the younger siblings don't even listen to like she's she's just like you know like her 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 warnings and everything are, are always fall into deaf ears so yeah all that stuff and uh, yeah it was a great start and madhouse and mappa like you know animating it like animation is we know it's is fantastic so yeah uh, let's see what this episode brings so without further ado let's get started this is uh Tact op destiny episode number two so i'll be putting the subtitles and the time right here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Is this a backstory? Oh yeah, this. Oh, this is Duck's backstory, I think. October 14, 2037. Maestro Asahina, is that the dad? Okay. No, wait. This is Anna, isn't it? Double edged sword, yeah. Created. Why did they, he say created? Okay, so that's why no one plays music. Poison far too potent to, for our current world. Oh yeah, Anna and... Um... Wow. 
<laughs> Look at the. Yeah, it was his dad. I can see a little picture with Anna. <laughs> he really doesn't care about anything other than music. It it really shows. There you go. <laughs> Lazy pack. What? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he's going to get frustrated at that noise or something. Yeah, it's actually bothering him. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Oh, is this the opening? Yeah. Like, we heard the opening, but not the visuals. Okay. Let's see the opening. Whoa. Oh, these, these two are the other two characters that we'll meet probably. Wow. Uh, okay. Damn the animation, my god. Mm. All right. Wow, that was a nice open. Opening. We've already heard it, but the visuals. <laughs> well, <laughs> waste of time. <laughs> She's not wrong, you know. Like the... what? Oh my God, this guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Saying that this piano is worthy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, go to go take a bath. That's that's what she's saying. Yeah, that's true, and the whole D2 thing is also Oh Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so they're childhood friends. Okay, Anna and. Oh wait, is this like a little backstory that they're showing? Oh, okay, okay. I was wondering, like, weren't they like traveling? Why are we seeing this? Okay, okay, this is like a little backstory. But not backstory, but a recollection, not backstory. I wonder how she became a music art then. <clears throat> yeah, she's envisioning his father conducting. Damn, he is really good. Nice. No, it's raining. <laughs> Symphonic party. Wait a minute, wasn't music band like what? Four years, yeah. Oh, so it's like a okay, like all right. Yes, it's like a very rare thing. So what about the D2s then? Won't they get... I'm sure they've figured something out, like... Hmm... What? No... Yeah. Oh, good point. Really good point. But I think it'll work the other way. People will be more excited after, yeah, after hearing music after so long. So I'm guessing during this whole Symphonia thing, maybe they like conductors search like if there's any due to around or something, then prepare everything and then it happens, I think, under restricted conditions. Oh, she's playing. Wow, she can also play. How did she? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I was also wondering. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, just like now. Pathetic. Oh. Oh! Wait, what? Oh! What? What? Okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh.
Go and despair will leave him. Oh. Okay, I have obviously I have no idea about music, these type of things, so I might not get a few things that they're referencing. <laughs> oh. Oh, they really are sisters. I thought I thought it's just Anna was calling her a sister. <laughs> so they're blood related? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. True. Like, I'm sure he's playing, still playing because of Cosette for even for a little, like you know, even if it's for a little extent. The reason is Cosette. Okay. It's not completely gone, but okay. Okay, I'm sure they kind of like, you know, checked everything like the D2s are. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, now he'll have to come here. Okay. <laughs> best pianist in the world. Yeah, obviously, his beloved piano is here, you know. Like he'll come rushing in. What? Oh, this guy. Grandmaster Sagan. Did it? What? What type of a statement was that? Um, he's still not here. I thought he would just come rushing in. <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay, she... Ooh. She's still new to this, you know, so Oh, I also got a little startled All right <laughs> I'll show you what real music is. Here we go. <laughs> oh.
Where's the Grand Maestro? The Sagan guy who came? I'm sure he's here somewhere. <laughs> Ooh. She can really play well. It's I thought she was new to this, but... Ah, there he is. I was wondering where he was. And he knew Tuck's dad, so yeah. He was remembering stuff from his past, I'm guessing. Oh! Nice. Oh, wow. Okay, the speed is increasing. Wow, that was really good. Great. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm completely, I'm, like, you know, I don't know anything about, like, you know, piano or these type of musics, but that was impressive even from an amateur standpoint. <laughs> <laughs> oh i was wondering like won't a d2 suddenly oh my god okay is this where she'll transform into a music card or something Oh no. Oh my god. His hand. Oh no. Okay. I, one thing. His hand is injured. Is that why his hand suddenly goes away? When he conducts? The, the necklace is shining. What the... Oh no, I, I guess this is when she transforms or something? Okay, yeah, there you go. What is that necklace? That looks like... Whoa! Oh, there you go! His hand! What the? What is that? Oh my... Okay, so that's why his hands suddenly go away. Oh! He also got his conducting power. I guess.
Oh! Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I, I think this is the first time we're hearing the ending. Yeah. <clears throat> this is going to continue in the next episode. All right. Okay, nice. This is a nice song as well. This is giving me weird your lie in April vibes. What the hell? I hope it doesn't, at least this show doesn't end like your lie in April. Your lie in April was sad, like, that was some, like, okay, that's the end. As I was saying, the ending, <laughs> I don't know why it reminded me of your lie in April. Like, you know, like him kind of playing the piano and was that like standing there? I really hope it does not end like your lie in April. Like, I don't want any more sad stuff. Like, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so this episode, um, at the beginning, I thought, like, I wasn't able to realize this, this was like a little recollection that he was having. And, like, you know, like, I was wondering, like, wait a minute, why are they showing them, like, in a house? Weren't they traveling? And then I realized, okay, this is something that happened before they got their powers. And I was just saying in the previous episode, you know, in episode one, that I, I hope they're going to show us why, like, you know, the reasons why his hand suddenly, like, you know, disappears when she, he's conducting. And how, like, you know, Cosette transforms, all that stuff, the reasoning behind everything. Uh, I was wondering, and I thought that it would, they'll probably show us that in the 6th or the 7th episodes. That how, that's how it usually goes, you know. But they, they sh just showed us all the reasons and everything, you know, and how they got their powers. It's nice that they actually got that out of the way. And I'm guessing the next episode will also continue that and show us, give us even more information as to what's happening and there's another question that I still have is like we now know why his hand disappears the question that I have is how does he get his hand back again you know like after he finish con finishes conducting he gets his hand back again didn't, doesn't he so how does that happen like I'm sure we'll get an answer in the next episode but alright so this episode here um, we see the actual what happened the backstory of um Ah, uh, what's her name? What's his name? Tak's dad, I forgot. Asa, Asahina, I think that was his name, wasn't it? Anyways, um, the backstory, you know, how he died and it was, it was because of the D2s. And now we see the, you know, the funeral. And here I think we see alongside Anna. We see another girl who is probably his her sister that he's talking you know she's always mentioning and uh, and we also see another person here the grand Ma the grand maestro sagan i think that was his name and he now the biggest thing i was able to realize here you know that this episode was told us that just told us why is music banned how like you know what what happened like you know what what actually is this like a thing that they all decided themselves or is there something else they kind of showed us that grandmaster sagan said that we're going to stop music 
so that no more tragedy like this happens again and we'll wait we'll wait for the day when we'll be able to play music again unless and until that day comes music should be stopped and that's that's a very rational decision you know so like people themselves are pretty scared of the whole d2 thing so that's why they also don't play music and yeah no one no one dares play any type of music especially in the open you know like we see we, we saw um duct playing the music in his garage but that was just because it was like a enclosed space i i doubt any d2 was able to hear that otherwise they would have come rushing in so yeah and here we see Cosette, uh, Anna, and Duck. So I'm guessing, like, I think they told us in the first episode, Duck is a, like a childhood friend. Yeah, of Anna. And Cosette is Anna's sister. Now, here's another thing that I'm wondering about. Like, it's kind of weird in a way. I feel like, you know, like, I, I get the previous episode in episode one when. Uh, Cosette said, uh, not Cosette, sorry, when Anna said, like, oh, Anne, uh, Cosette, my little sister, I, th I, at that time, I thought that, w wait a minute, like, they really don't look alike at all. So, at that time, I thought that, okay, maybe she's just calling her her sister. But here, in this episode, it was very apparent that she really is her sister. So, I'm guessing it's either that she's her half sister, either that, or she's adopted this can go this because like you know like i don't think they're blood related because um anna's the other sister she looks completely like anna in a way you know the hairstyle all of them are different but you know the, the hair color and everything is uh, and the facial structure and everything is very similar to anna so i can like you know seeing both of them side by side you can like you know you can say that yeah these two are definitely blood related sisters but Cosette is really different especially her hair her facial structure and everything so I I don't know either she is a half sister or she is um adopted I might be completely wrong though you know so yeah like it's just that I'm, I'm kind of guessing it and Yeah, so all of them are kind of related together, you know, like Tart, Anna, Cosette, like, you know, they're, they're like, you know, like, they, they are very close from the, from their childhood in a way, I'm guessing, because of their ties with each other's families, like Tart, I mean, as I said, Tart is probably one of their childhood friends, and Cosette is, like, you know, Anna's sister, and yeah, they, after, after, especially after Tart uh, lost his dad, I'm guessing, <clears throat> Anna and Anna's family took Duck in and you know like yeah they probably took Duck in and that's why now they're like living together and like a little family <clears throat> right and okay so here we see Duck like obviously we we know that Duck is like you know very serious about music and one thing that he said was quite interesting he says like when Cosette brings him the symphon mm, symphonia i think that was it what it was called uh poster he said something like <clears throat> um people have not heard music for quite a long while so what did he say he said something like mm, Okay, here it is. He says that there's no guarantee that my music is at a level that can... No, no, not this. Wait a minute, just a sec. Okay, here it is. It's not about technique. I can't see... Here it is. I can't see it reaching anyone in a world that has abandoned music. Which is quite an interesting point, you know? Like, people have not heard music for, for so long. So... Uh, in a way, Tuck is correct after not hearing music for so For example, like, let's just take people who were born after music was banned. You know? They, they have never heard music before in their life. 
So what Tactor is actually saying here is that will it really be able to move people who have not been listening to music for so long? Will it really have the same impact? In a way, he's correct, but also in a way, I think he's incorrect because I think like I don't know, like I think it will be even more more um, you know like uh what can i say not effective but like it, it'll mo move more people because they have not been listening to music for so long like they have not been getting something and if suddenly they get that thing again the influence of music will be even more for for them i know just just what i think and i think that's what probably happened later on in this episode where we see people were just cheering you know when he was playing the piano and yeah so i think that was like a little there was a thing that like i think that here was kind of thinking about it in a more technical like you know point of view he was thinking like okay like people are not listening to music so they won't be able to appreciate it anymore that was like a technical point of view but music is more emotional you know it it's something that you cannot uh just calculate it's something that goes to your heart it it doesn't like you know like goes to, like it, it obviously it goes to your brain as well but it moves your heart not your brain so in that way i think his like the thing that he was scared about was not something that you should be concerned about because we saw later on you know like music it moves people's hearts and that's what happened and you know uh, even after people did not mm, listen to music for four or five years even they are were at no contact with that as soon as like you know they suddenly hear music like you know like they'll get that feeling back again and they'll appreciate music even more and as i was saying like for people who were born after the music band they're probably like four or five years old now and them listening to hearing music for the first time would be uh like you know like would be like a world like you know eye opening a world like you know like a, com a completely life changing experience and yeah like just imagine listening to music for the first time you know i don't even remember like, people don't even remember like we we've we've always we're surrounded with music so I can't properly say that when is the first day that I heard music. It was probably like after I was born or something. Like you know, <laughs> so yeah, music. You know, like I can't even think about like like. And I'm talking as I said, like a festival is going on. There's like music playing outside. So that's what music is. Like you know, like it's 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 always there, and it's it's like it's kind of like air in a way. Like music is playing. You're like oh, music is playing. Yeah, it's nothing like you know surprising. So yeah, it's 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 just and so it's kind of what can I say? Mm, really interesting to think about a world where there really is no music. Music has been completely stopped. We we, we can't even imagine it. I think, you no, know, like like four to five years, there's no music. Yeah, that's like a scary situation. Oh my god. So yeah, like uh Takt was thinking about it like that, but we saw later on that nothing to be concerned about. And Cosette here we see like okay, another thing, like I would probably like you know there's a few I'm guessing musical things, like musical references that they will probably bring up here. And me being an amateur, I won't be able to understand all of them. I think they kind of reference something in this, you know, like the whole thing with Beethoven that they were talking about. Um Oh, the what did she say? Uh, you know when Cosette was playing that time, the, like she was referencing something, and I wasn't properly able to understand that. But you know, like, and that's because I I really have no idea about these type of things. So yeah, I'll I'll probably miss a few of the references. So yeah. Anyways, okay, okay, so. <clears throat> Okay, so here we uh, get to see that um, Cosette already knew how to play piano, which was quite surprising for me as well. And <clears throat> yeah, so, and she's quite new at this, I think. No, wait a minute, just a sec. What did she say here? I... 
okay all right tuck says that you can play my late mother taught me we were still no she's not new okay um I, I was mistaken she's not new it's just that she obviously did not practice as much as start that was just it and she says that we were still allowed to play music in france uh, so it's been three years since you played no I've, I've still played now and then we're right here where you were in the bath <laughs> so okay she was kind of like you know practicing now and then so obviously she's not as good as start but she she was definitely really great and you know like keeping up with Takt was in itself a big accomplishment i think you know because Takt is always with piano so she's he's too damn good at it but yeah because it was able to keep up with that okay okay here's one thing mm. uh the thing that she says here okay she says the first movement in Pathetique, I think that's how it is pronounced. I might be wrong. Is the current despair we live in? Okay, the current despair we live in. The third movement gives us a little bit of hope, and the second movement that ties them both together is love. Oh, interesting. Okay, so first one is despair, the second one is love that actually connects. First and third, and the third one is a little bit of hope. That's what my mother used to say. Okay, now, you know what? This whole thing also kind of uh, is you kind know, of confirming what I think. She is, I think she's adopted. Because first of all, she says her, her mom, late mother, because, you know, like her mom, is not here anymore not alive and she lived in france so that and i don't know like i i feel as if i feel that she is adopted as i said it's just a guess i might be wrong completely but yeah okay Okay, that was that, and then they go to the Symphonica, uh, and <laughs> Cosette takes just <laughs> just takes his piano there so that like you know like he'll come, <laughs> he's bound to come, and yeah, that really worked well. Now here's one thing, one thing that I have a little bit of a question about the Symphonia. Um, I think this whole Symphonia is like as as they said, this is like a very rare thing that they're doing. This is probably the first time and that they're no what did he they say just a sec let me check uh okay uh what is symphonia symphonia party is coming to our town too symphonia party is a uh, where where is it Okay, uh, the Symphonica party is a traveling festival that the Symphonica holds in various places. It's been four years since the Sagan declaration. Everyone's been holding back. So this is a, dead, that, a day that we can all let loose and happy, be happy again. Okay, so it is kind of like a traveling festival. And now here's the thing. I think this whole Symphonica festival, uh, they've been doing this, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing, you know. And for this town, I'm guessing it's the first time. So what, I don't know, like, as far as I can say, I think this whole Symphonica festival that they hold is something that they do after a lot of preparations. For example, I'm sure, like, you know, a lot of people, like, you know, like the officials came just, like, you know, search the whole place, if there's any D2 there or not, if there's any nest. And after confirming that there's no danger, they say that okay we're going to have a symphonia party in this town in this date for only one day where we can go all out and then we'll wrap everything up and no more music again so i think it is something like that otherwise it wouldn't make sense like you know like them having no preparations and suddenly doing this it wouldn't make any sense 
So yeah, it's 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 something like that. I'm guessing. And uh, yeah, and it also kind of like you know boosts the morale of people. Like you might ask, like you know, like if there's like so danger, why why even do this? It probably boosts the morale, as as Sagan said later on. Like he said something like, and this will give us hope for the future. And that's what this is actually about. And it also lets people like you know kind of let loose a little. Okay, and. Uh, Okay, and then later on, obviously, like, you know, like, um, Duck comes in, Cosette, they, both of them play, everyone's happy and everything, and I was wondering here, like, everything's going a bit too happily, I was thinking, like, what would happen if a D2 suddenly attacks, and that's what happened, my god, like, okay, so, first of all, the music was fantastic and one thing that i am noticing now i wasn't able to notice when i was reacting to it that while cosette is playing the piano her her necklace is glowing here as well i i did not really notice it before now i'm notice it noti noticing it so yeah okay i i really miss that completely like it's very apparent now that i see her her, her necklace is glowing you know when like when she was playing when she is kind of after the, even after the playing ends her necklace is still shining and now i wonder i wonder why the necklace was shining one reason could be that because the d2s were actually near maybe because of that I don't know, it's just a guess. But anyways, you know, suddenly the D2 attacks and <clears throat> this is where I wonder, like, I think they really did their research before. I'm sure the, like, you know, Sagan put his official, like, you know, uh, put, uh, put, put everyone, like, you know, his official, I'm guessing the Symphonia members uh, to check this place and see if there's any d2 nest or anything around here and i'm sure they checked it i'm sure there was no danger so where did this d2 suddenly come from that's the question or maybe maybe it was like a stray you know like just wandered in something like that it, it must be something like that but yeah the d2 comes in and gives a mortal blow to gazette and injures tuck's hand now I don't know what the hell happened here after this like her necklace was glowing immensely after that started glowing even more and what triggers this i'm not sure about it that kind of screams here that i won't let it end can you hear me stand up open your eyes cosette and the the glowing even increases now i was saying that maybe the necklace glowing was probably something related to the d2s it might be something else even it might be even something connected to the emotions you know because while they were playing both of them were playing the emotions were heightened that's why it was glowing a little bit and now when tuck sees because at dying probably his emotions even heightened further and that's why the necklace started glowing even more i don't know like you know i'm i'm, I'm just like you know making theories up <laughs> so yeah now okay the weird thing starts here he starts floating the necklace transforms into a into a rose and there's like this thorn you know things comes out it takes duck's hand and just okay and then we see a weird silhouette of someone i'm not sure what that was there's like a girl's silhouette at first i thought that was cosette and then like you know like i saw that cosette was actually lying down so that was not cosette that was something else it kind of comes up to tucked and bites off his hand while it was biting off Duck's hand because it also kind of you know like kind of did a 
the kind of biting thing even while she was unconscious his hand goes out it starts bleeding it somehow i don't know what happened there i think it probably got in inside cosette and cosette completely transformed and she became a music art her personality completely changed she became like this kind of a stoic type of a character you know like a Okay, now, <clears throat> yeah, her personality and everything completely changed. And she, I don't know what she does, she kind of brings up a little conducting stick, the stick that uh, Tart was using. And Tart also kind of changed a little bit, you know, like his eyes completely changed and uh, like stuff were happening. And Cosette says that give me orders. Okay, and that's where the episode ends. So yeah, there are still a few questions left. Who is that girl? You know that entity that suddenly popped up. What happened to Cosette? Uh, why the necklace was shining? What the next? What is the actual? You know what's up with the necklace? Like what is that? And a lot of other things as well. So yeah, that was an interesting episode. I really liked it, and. Piano section was really great as I said like even though I have no idea. I'm a complete amateur in these type of things I really enjoyed it. It was so good So as I said you don't like you know like you don't need to be a master to enjoy music music can be enjoyed by everyone So Yeah, I think that was it is there anything else no. So that was it guys. So that was this uh, episode. This is episode number two of Tuck OP Destiny. I'm loving this anime. It's, it's great. You know, like the story seems quite interesting as well. And I'm looking forward to the upcoming episodes. And uh, yeah, obviously the animation is top tier. And yeah, that's just it. So that's it guys. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of tact op destiny so until then goodbye and have a nice day